Yeah, I'm gonna get all this here today. You are watching another episode of Hashtag ha Girl, get it together and keep it together. What's up, guys? You are watching another episode of Hashtag Fitness Friday. guys welcome back to my channel i am southern belle from the city you're watching fitness friday thank you guys for coming back once again i'm wearing my shirt today from a club fit crew hard and not impossible i love these shirts and i have like a bunch of them so y'all gonna y'all gonna be seeing them um but if it looks like this most likely it came from club a lot of people have been asking me where i got my shirt so most likely it came from here but anywho today is um the 6th or 7th so we have like a couple of days left till the 10th um so you guys want to get on it while you can you definitely still can order your progress and your programs just in order to reap the benefits of the workout routines the meal plans the yoga class the flat belly fat booty um you have until the 10th to register for the 30 day commencement so if you don't know what I'm talking about, then please pre-watch some of my videos. Follow me on Facebook and down uh, below. I always am updating and um, announcing our current events and things like that. You can get started with a three-day trial. All you have to do is click the link below my link tree. And that will take you to, um, you can start hit Start My Free Wellness Profile. It will take you to my website. So, definitely wanted to announce that. Um, I have another announcement, but I think I'm going to save it. It's something special. Um, I think I'm going to save it for a while. I don't know when I'm going to announce it, but I will soon. Um, um, yeah, I don't really have much announcements for today. I'm going to get into our workout today. We are doing a um, single set. So, um, we're doing reps, but we're doing one set. So, it's going to be longer reps and um, a longer amount of workouts. So it's going to be, I usually do like about six, five, four, six uh, workouts. And then usually depending on how many uh, movements or exercises we have, then we'll go into like two or three sets. Of. But today I'm going to do, um, I think I have 12 exercises here. And we're going to increase um, the sets, maybe some rest time. But we're only going to do one single set. We're going to increase it on reps. Um, so... We're just trying different workout styles, training styles for you guys. Um, I think I've been doing a lot of circuiting the last couple of um, weeks, which just is, you know, doing um, these repetitions with low rest time and doing um, more workouts, you know, back to back. Um, but we're going to do a single set today, and um, I want to just, you know, get in. This is definitely still full body. I try to do full body, try to, uh, this is also no equipment. I'm not even using weights today. Um, you know, I try to incorporate low equipment, no equipment, low impact, and things like that. People who are at home, because during this quarantine, we're at home a lot. Um, so I also try to incorporate full body so that you can incorporate this into your week if you're just a beginner. Um, I always say, you know, I haven't really gotten feedback on it, but um, when I'm working out, I do what's called a split routine. And I do certain muscle groups um, for like one whole day. So one workout would be like for arms, um, workout for legs. So if you guys want me to start adding those in, um, let me know. Because I was trying to, you know, keep people on a schedule. But if you guys want to see um, some, you know, whole workouts for just certain muscle groups, then let me know. I can definitely start making those as separate videos or incorporating them somehow um, into these Fitness Fridays. So let me know, y'all. And that's all I have to say for now. Um, I just want to say you better get on the train. Let's see, you know, so you can get your own results. Um, we are doing big things in the 21 Day Challenges. I will share some of our um, client results after this and then I'll show the workout flyer and then we will get into the workout
Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's warm up, we are doing these inchworms and adding in a kickback in plank position. So we're going to crawl down, keeping a nice flat back in a plank position. We're going to kick up with both legs and then crawl back up. If you're having trouble then doing these, then crawl down to the point that you can and then drop your knees, kick up, and then walk back up. I'm setting my timer for 45 seconds. I'm going to put it up on the screen so you guys can just follow along. For our first movement, we're doing push-ups. Here's proper push-up form. If you need to drop your knees and do so, just make sure that you're fully extended enough that you're still feeling that tight core. Keeping your elbows nice and tight close to your body. Your elbows should be going back and not out. Shoulder width apart for your arms. I'm actually doing it a little bit under my chest here, but... The next movement is a curtsy lunge. I'm showing you regular lunge form. So with regular lunge form, you want to be square with your hips sent that first leg is not going over your toe that knee's not going over your toe that back leg is going down at a straight angle I like to keep my hands at my side so I can just see that fluid movement and make sure that I'm in proper form as you can see as I adjust the camera that leg is going down the other leg is going down in a 90 degree angle and my hips are nice and square right at my sides I've shown you guys lunges several times, but if you're new to my channel, I want you to get down proper form of a regular lunge before we move into different variations of a lunge. So here, I'm sending the leg backwards first. This is called a back lunge. It's still the same form once you get down, but we're starting with the back leg. Instead of coming forward, we're going backwards. So this is a back lunge, setting that leg back and down. So now we're going to move into curtsy lunges. So instead of doing that back leg, sending it back, we're going to send it over. But we're still keeping that same form, trying to keep your hips as square as possible. And still not allowing that front knee to go over your toe and that back knee to keep at a 90 degree angle. So this is actually our second movement, is a curtsy lunge. So this next movement is a combo movement. We're starting with a crunch, and you want to activate those upper abdomen muscles at the top. So um, you're coming up, make sure you're coming up enough that you feel that pull in your upper abdomen. And then we're going to come all the way up into a sit up, and you're activating your whole set of um, abs. Next to the seal push-up, this is going to really help with proper push-up form. You want your um, arms right at your sides, elbows not going out. This is taking the pressure off of the full body movement of a push-up and just focusing on the upper part. This is also going to feel more uh, in your triceps than your biceps. You're going to lean all the way up and really keep a nice squeeze as you come up and go down. Next, this is a good morning. It's kind of like a squat. You're sending your hips back as well, and you're squeezing the glutes on the way in and tightening on the way out, extending 
your hips and forward but we're going to be bending over instead of in and out like a squat we're going to be bending over but you're still going to be sending those hips backwards So now in plank position, we're going to send our obliques to the side and allow our hips to drop, rotating at the um, obliques, not focusing on your lower back. You don't want to hurt your lower back. Um, we can do this in plank position with our arms instead of our elbows. That will make it a little bit easier. Just make sure your butt is down. Um, you can also drop your knees a little bit. Just make sure that you have that tabletop position where your back is completely flat and you're really tightening in the core. Next we're doing tricep dips. You want to keep your arms shoulder width apart, just kind of directly where they fall behind you. And um, try not to lock out your elbows when you do this. You don't want to injure your elbows here. Keep your legs at enough of an angle that you get a good resistance. I'm showing you a different way you can do these. If your arms are short, I use some platforms. You can use a chair, whatever you're able and comfortable with. As with push-ups as well as this, make sure that you're not blowing your elbows out and they're going back. Next, we are going to do some leg lifts. We're pulling from our very lower abdomen, allowing that to pull our legs up and lower them back down, almost to the ground. Go as high as you can with your legs and as low to the ground as you can without touching. Something that might help you to really dig your lower back into the ground. You want to keep your butt up, but your lower back should be really pressed into the ground. Keep your hands in a diamond position right under your lower back to kind of stabilize. So I showed you guys earlier what proper form for a lunge is. So we're doing front lunges and then we're going to take that and do a high knee. So we're going to use that power, that force that we dropped the lunge with to kind of push off the ground with the balls of our feet and bring that leg up into a high knee. This is something I showed you guys before. It's an elevated squat. So keeping proper squat form, we're sending that butt back as if we're going to sit down, keeping our chest elevated and our knees not going over our toes. But this elevation is going to allow you to go deeper in your squat. And one thing that I want to share with the guys and the girls is this squat is good for you gentlemen because when the closer that your legs are together with a squat changes the muscle group that it's going to work. So the closer that your legs together, this is really going to work your front quads. Um, but ladies, if you want to do more wide stances for the glutes. So um, this elevated squat is going to be closer. If you had two books and you put one foot on either um, I mean, one book under each foot, then you could do a more wider stance, ladies, if you want to more work your glutes. But guys, you can use one book. book. Lastly, for a burnout, these are some skater taps. They're the same concept as kind of a curtsy lunge, but you're just setting one leg behind the other, and you don't have to have the hop if you don't want to. Here I'm showing you, you can just tap over. All right, I'm gonna give you guys one set full out. There are two workouts that I didn't redo because I had already shown you proper form. I did repeat push-ups at the end, and I did repeat the crunches. I didn't add the um, sit-up in at the end. But as you will see, I do. I will do a set of crunches at the end and a set of push-ups at the end. I did repeat two workouts that I didn't do in the demonstration because I was just showing you guys proper form. And as you can see here, I had to keep changing direction because my foot kept hitting against the baseboard on the floor and I would have been out of frame. So I was working with a small space. I was trying to get a good space where I could do my lunge in proper form without hitting the baseboard. Thank you.
with some cardio it doesn't have to be fast-paced cardio you will still burn calories by walking especially since we finished with that um a little bit of a burnout you know definitely on the legs since we finished up with those curtsy squats i mean um skater taps and they were pretty fast-paced you can slow down cool down with your cardio but I still got pre-workout. I'm gonna keep this momentum, so I'm probably gonna hop on a treadmill and um, 
run for a little bit, but but uh, definitely want to do your cardio after strength training. If you want to lose weight, um, your glycogen is depleted when you're strength training so that all your energy afterwards can all be um, calorie and fat burning. If you do cardio before you strength train, you'll be trying to deplete, deplete glycogen and fat burn, which you won't be doing too much of after when you're doing strength training. So this just keeps the momentum going and your glycogen is depleted by the time that you get ready to do your cardio and you'll burn double the amount of fat and calories. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Catch me on the next Fitness Friday. Uh, DM me for any questions and help. Remember, hard, not impossible. Thank <laughs> you.